Hey there, everyone. This is an impromptu video to display a few items in my closet. I have a closet called Elise Boutique on all the major selling platforms like eBay, Etsy, Macari, Depop, Poshmark. And I sell a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything from vintage to collectibles to housewares, men's clothing, shoes, accessories, women's clothing, shoes, accessories. My journey began a few years ago when I was still working in a corporate position and I needed to pay off some things. So I started a shop and primarily from items that I got from family, friends, cl cleaning out their closets. I don't do a lot of heavy thrifting, but I do occasionally go into thrift stores and to see what they have anything that's unusual, like unique hats, unique shoes, things that are items that you may not be able to find in certain areas of the country. I prim primarily find items that are either new or thereabouts new, unless it's vintage. Obviously, it can't be really new then, but regardless, once again, this is Elise Boutique, and I wanted to today focus on men's clothing. And I love Hawaiian shirts, concert t-shirts, unique hats, things like that, as I mentioned. And I will do, eventually, I will do some other videos on just Hawaiian shirts or concert t-shirts or things like that. But today we're going to do a little mixed bag of a few things. So starting off, as you can see, we have these really super cool cowboy boots with buckles and they don't look like they're even worn if you look at the sole. Now these are not real leather, unfortunately, but still cool nonetheless. They are Alberto. I don't know if you can see the inside. Alberto Bellini. I don't think you can see it, but anyway, they're super cool. They, they zip on the sides and they go up about maybe mid calf. And I think they're really cool looking. They have kind of a snakish crocodile feel to it, but it's all faux. A lot of buckle embellishments and chains. So those are super cool. They are in my shop now listed. Next up, we have these really cool Casual Loafers by Johnston Murphy. They got the braided look to them. They're brown. On the back, the soles are a little bit worn, but bar barely worn. Looks like they may have worn them maybe once based on the condition of the soles. And then they've got the little back, which is used for dragging shoes. So great, cool loafers casual shoes. Next up, everybody, most everybody likes Vans. And these are what they would call, I guess, gender neutral or unisex. These can be either or men's or women's. There is a men's size and a men's size on them. They are black, white, checkered suede. And as you can see, the bottom of the soles are barely worn. I'm told that they were worn maybe once or twice and that was it. So very good condition. I want to go back up here to the loafs, loafers. These are leather as well. So recapping, these are not leather, the cowboy boots. These are leather, soft leather, and these are a suede leather. Now I want to get to the hats. I have several different hats that I'd like to showcase today. And these are, this is the first one. This is kind of a, an old style hat. It's got a, like a velvety suede look to it with this really cool looking band that goes around it. The brand is Barlassoni. Bar Bar and there's a size, satin inside. Custom made. Once again, the name, Barceloni, made of imported furs. Classic derby hat. 
super cool, super cool. Just love hats. This is what it looks like up close. So that's that hat. Another one is more simple fedora. Kind of a gray checkered, kind of an everyday hat, very lightweight, not made of anything in particular. It's made by Impermeable, by Weatherproof. Very lightweight, as I said. Great everyday hat. I'll eventually do videos of just hats and just Hawaiian shirts and just t-shirts and things like that. Here's another fedora. Another gray. It's a lighter gray with a checkered bow on the side. Lightweight. Every day. Checkered on the inside. And this is a Nick Graham. Cool, cool shirt. Cool, I'm sorry, cool, cool hat. Next up, super cool Harley Davidson. Now this Harley Davidson hat is unique and it's one of the reasons why I am presenting it in my shop because it has skulls on it. Well, not actual skulls, but pictures of skulls. On the band, this Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's black felt. It's the emblem on the inside. Made in the USA. It says large on it. Super cool hat. I cannot confirm the authenticity of it because I couldn't find anywhere online another one like it. But it really, the quality of it makes me think that it really is legit. I can't see. I've seen enough hats to know that this one really looks like it is legit. But once again, I can't guarantee the authenticity. But the tag looks legit. The quality looks legit. So either way, it's priced accordingly. Anybody that would like this style. It's on my shop. Are on my shops. And the last hat I have for you is a crushable. It's kind of an Indiana Jones style. It's a brown felt wool. I think it's made of wool. Don't quote me on that. Yep, it is wool. 100% wool. Water repellent. And the brand name is Crushable in medium large size. There's a little leather, I guess that's leather, but there's some sort of band that goes around it. And that's the hats. So now I'll move on to the items of clothing that I have for today. And first up, I have a floral Hawaiian Izod saltwater short sleeve men casual button down shirt. This has never been worn. This was my son's. He bought it for a particular event, changed his mind, decided he didn't want to wear it. And as with some of the people I know in my family, they have a tendency to just get rid of things. I'm like, no, no, I'll take it. See if somebody else would like it. Let's repurpose it, re give it a new home and promote sustainability. But it's never been worn. He did cut the tags off one of the reasons why I couldn't return it but definitely a nice floral Hawaiian tropical type of a shirt it's got parrots and flowers on it another Hawaiian shirt this one is vintage by Island Republic and it doesn't say silk on it but I could have swore somewhere it was silk, but it will be listed in the description if it is. It's just got that really silky feel to it. This one's more tropical as well. It has a floral, boats, ships, palm trees. This 
this is a picture of the back. Casual short sleeve button down. It has the side slits. So if you want to wear it out instead of tucking it in. Next up, we have a new with tag. Alan Fluser. Now this is a blue or navy corduroy blazer jacket. As I mentioned, tag still on. Inside lining, paisley. Very nice jacket. Could be used for casual, workwear, professional, going out at in the evening, etc. This is the back. This is the tag. It's navy, 100% cotton, large. Back is still sewn. It does not have the middle one. It's got the two flaps on the side on this one. So you see the front looks again. Here's the front. The sizes of the measurements will be listed on my shops in the description. Next up, we got a vintage natural issue. It's a casual long sleeve button down shirt. Background's kind of like a navy color with some sort of round coin looking sign on it of some sort. I'm told this shirt was barely worn, if at all, hung in the closet and didn't really do much. Didn't go, didn't get to see much. So if you like vintage and you like the brand Natural Issue, this is available in my shops. Measurements also will be listed in the description. Next up is a pajama top by Brooks Brothers. And this is a large. This hasn't been worn. Person I was told said one of the bottoms didn't want the top and actually it could be used for a woman too. They could, long sleeve, they could wear it just as a, as a pajama top. Comes with a bag as Brooks Brothers typically does with items like this. There is the embroidery. So it looks like it's kind of a maroon striped with gold pockets. This is the back. No tag, but the person who told me they just never wore the top. So there it is. Next up, we have a polo golf shirt. This one's navy and it's got an embroidered Anheuser-Busch St. Louis Brewery. If you are a collectible of Anheuser-Busch products and brands, made in the USA 2XL. On the side, embroidered 5,000 safe work hours. Measurements will be in the description as I've said on all of the items that are in my shops. So you can tell if a particular size would, would fit you. Sizes, the length and the chest area will be mentioned. So a nice polo shirt. Don't pay attention to the actual hanger on this one. I ran out of hangers. But this is an Izod men's plaid Bermuda shorts. Zip front, flat front, hand pockets. The back side. Standard pockets. Very lightweight. It's got that feature in them that Kind of keeps it snug so they don't fall down if you don't wear a belt. It sticks to your skin. Next up, we have a pair of Express jeans. These are new with tag, never worn. 
They have a stretchy feel to them. Relaxed Hyper Stretch 31 by 30. Zip, normal five pocket. like they're it could be considered boot cut or straight leg either one based on the size have that kind of faded look on some of the spots next we have a pair of tactical pants new with tags super cool pants Basic operator pants, police gear. It says LA police gear. I'm not positive, but these could potentially be vintage. Person that had these did some tactical training types of things. So they may be vintage, maybe a newer vintage, not like an old vintage. Pockets have the hoop and loop. Cargo pockets, reinforced knees, or at least for the flexibility. Little things in here, making them tactical. Bottom has drawstring to go around the boots. Backside hook and loop to make the waist tighter if you need them. Reinforced crouch, crouch, I think, or at the very least, so they're at least mobile so you can move around and get down on your knees and things like that when you're doing tactical type of training and work. Next up, another pair of express jeans. These are not new with tag, but they look like they have been gently worn and pre-owned. Black, stretchy, fish, not hyper stretch, but... These look more like straight. The zip fly. Backside. I like the pockets. Nice big pockets on the back. Sizes will be listed on my shops if you don't see them on the tags. I want to try to keep these videos short. I'm planning on doing a lot of them, so stay tuned. Check back often. This is going to be a new feature to my YouTube channel. Dickies, cargo, carpenter pants, new with tag. So these are technically tagged, but I don't really want to call them new because I do believe that these were what they call, you now my son in law actually, where he used to work, they would provide jeans and work pants for them. And they would get them several different pairs and they would alter them before they even took the tags off. So technically, I believe that these have been altered lengthwise because the hem looks a different, a little bit different. Now I'm only guessing, they may not have been, but just based on when I measured them to put them on my site, they're definitely not 39. I don't know if that 39, what that technically means. The waist 38, but they're definitely not 39 inseam. I think they're more like 30, something to that effect. But they are never worn. So, one other item, two other items that I have are a couple of cool looking ties. I don't buy a lot of, or get a lot of ties. If I see cool ones, I'll buy them, but people I know don't necessarily wear ties, but this one is Bob Marley, it's vintage. Made by Ralph Marlin. It actually even says on here, 1990 something somewhere. So that's a cool tie. And then I saw this one and I really liked it because it was has jungle. It has all these different animals on it. And I love unique things. And it's, it's all silk. 
by Pierre Cardin, and it's vintage. But you've got a parrot, you've got lions, you got a zebra, you got elephant. You've got all kinds of creatures, giraffes. Just a lot going on there. So that is it for today. Give you one last look at the items. I want to thank you for watching. If you would like any of these items, they will be available on my Elise Boutique shops, eBay, Etsy, Macari, Depop, Poshmark, sometimes Facebook Marketplace. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful night.